right. Coming at you once again with this truth, man. Thank you all praise to Yahweh. Our Lord, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. The Lord, to the elders and the gentlemen, peace and blessings to Akim that's out there teaching the truth and sincerity, man. Shalom, man. All right. Uh, we have Ecclesiasticus chapter 39, starting with verse 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof. Right, and that's how we're supposed to be. Read it one more time up, beginning. But he that giveth his mind. That's, to one, that's one thing we need to do. We need to give our minds to this truth, man. Give our minds over to this truth and being occupied. Go ahead. Give, give our minds to the law of the Most High. Right. And. And is occupied in the meditation thereof. Right, being meditating in these scriptures, man. Being cutting, cutting the outside world off and being meditating in these scriptures. Day in and day out, man. That's why the, the elders get a decree. You know? That's what you're supposed to be. You supposed to have you supposed to have leisure time, but not not that much as as much as well as many men do have. A lot of leisure time where you don't even see them, man. You know, these guys are in my hate. Go ahead. Um, all right. Uh, meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient. Right. And the wisdom of all the ancients are found here in these scriptures, man. With the, pro with the prophets of old, the Jeremiah's, the Isaiah's, even uh, Ezra, okay, and James and so on, you know. Go ahead. Um, and be occupied in prophecies. Right, man, that's the main thing. That's, that's one of the things I want to get to. Being occupied, occupied in prophecies, man. That was, that was the problem. Man, the great, one of the greatest things to do is prophesying, man. Prophesying the end, the end of this kingdom, the things to come, the marshal on the chip, the uh, RFID chip, the uh, famine. You know, these are the things that were, were told of old times, that was to come today. And we're living in those times, man. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna be here another 90, 90 years, man. Another 100 and 200 years, man. This place is at the end. Go ahead. Well, verse two. He will keep the sayings of the renowned men and, will sub, and where subtile parables are, he will be there also. He will seek out the secrets of of grave sentences. Right, because the scripture tells you, man, that many many kings and great men have searched out for those things that have not found them, but you have found them, man. The prophets, the men. I mean, you see them out here, young men, starting with the elders, man. The elders started this thing with as young men, and then it grew into older men, man. And it's still prophesying, man. Waiting, waiting, and hastening the day for Yahweh shot. I mean, even even in the scriptures, the scriptures say that the uh, the understanding of the or the interpretation, this roughly paraphrasing, the uh, interpretation of the scriptures are given unto the prophets once again. You know. All right. That, that, that's just it, man. That's it on that one. Uh -oh. Revelation 19 and 10. Yeah, that's it. Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and I said unto me. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and I am thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Right. Worship God, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. Well, the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy, man. Because it was prophesied that the Lord was going to make his second coming, man. Tell you that in the book of Acts, uh, the first chapter, I believe. The same way Howard Shah left in those clouds, the same way he coming back, man. He coming back in the, in the form of Isaiah, the, six, uh, the 63rd chapter, man. Uh, a power, great angelic power, man. It's going to be tramp, trampling the uh, the wicked as as the wine press, man. Okay. And, and, and speaking of prophecy of him getting engaged. In World War III with the nations, of, the army of the nations of the earth, man. All these things were prophesied and, and need to be published into the earth, man. These are the things that, that are waking up these young men. You know, 
And then it, it, something triggers them and intrigues them to wake, wake them up, man. Okay? Yeah, you got to step up. TV. What happened this week as far as the prophecies is concerned in, in the world, man? Okay. That's what we're about, man. Oh, yeah, what you saying, brother? An earthquake, a 9.8 earthquake happened here? Uh, the, uh, North Korea has sanctioned what? Has uh, did what against the sanctions of uh, the U.S.? That's what we're about, man. We're in the business of a prophecy, okay? What? Yeah. Alright, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 37. Yeah, two. Yeah, two, right? No, two. One and two. One and two, huh? Okay, I got you right here. Two and nine. I got you. Slap. Ezekiel chapter two, verse nine. You want to start at eight? Or nine? Start at nine. All right, verse nine. And when I looked, behold, and hand and hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. Right. And that book is talking about these descriptions, man, the Bible. Okay, go ahead. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. Right, lamentations, mourning, and woes. And all that is affiliated with the prophecies, man. Because that's what a lot of these prophecies that's, that's getting ready, to, the last few prophecies is going to bring that. Lamentations, mourning, and woe. Weeping and gnashing the teeth, man. Okay? And it, that's what this book is about. This book ain't about happy go, happy joy, joy, and uh, go lucky and, and, and read the scripture and, and, and pretty much win some lottery numbers, man. This, this scripture is about lamentation, mourning, and woe, man. Okay? And that's straight to the point. I mean, mourning and woe, that's mourning and woe is inter interchangeable with suffering and destruction. That's right. That's really just what it is, man. And, you know, the, um, the things that are going on in this world, which refer to these prophecies are we, we look for these because it's another step and another step closer towards the end of this place. And the end of this place is not gonna be uh it's not gonna be a beautiful thing for nobody. It's gonna be it's gonna be a a, a hard narrow path for the men of the Lord. So for those who are not the men of the Lord, how much more for you? Right. How much how much easier for you? How much terrible for you? Thinking about you 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 know focusing on focusing on your family focusing on um uh growing so like yeah, growing developing uh businesses and you know wanting to be these you know uh you know big tycoon type of people or getting all these getting all of these carnal things of this world you know and you're not focusing on this world is coming to a fucking end just plain as day it's coming to an end it's it's going to end real soon no, it ain't about being some prestigious noble person, man. You know, these prophecies is coming, man. You know, it's gonna wake, it's gonna slap a lot of you big head niggas upside the head, man. Matter of fact, uh, I was just telling the brother the other day, um, the fucking the uh, the big homosexual nigga T D Jakes, the nigga was on the Breakfast Club, and the nigga was talking about uh promoting the book but within him talking about that you know they asked the nigga about uh uh religion in the world and one thing that i caught from him when they when he started talking about the nuclear the nuclear uh things that can happen just with with korea sending one one nuke over here can turn america from a first world country to a third world country and you could tell that nigga was just worrying about oh man i'm gonna lose everything i work for yeah. You know, you gonna lose that regardless. <laughs> but, uh, go a little bit more. Before you go to, go to uh, chapter three. Yeah, go ahead. Chapter three, Ezekiel, chapter three, verse one. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou finest, eat this roll, and speak unto the house of Israel. 
So that's when that, that's our job, man. For us to eat, for eat this road and go out to speak to the house of Israel, man. Speak to them, to, to them prophets. Speak unto them the things that uh that are pretty much are to come. You know. Go ahead. Um. Okay. Verse three. And uh. Oh, Salaki. Verse two. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that roll. And he said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get, go get thee unto the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. Because right. later on, I'll tell you about how, jump to 17, huh? I'll tell you how pretty much this word is going to be sweet in his mouth, filling his belly, man. And that's what, that's what this word brings. It's sweet when you first get it. But then once you start seeing, uh, going through the hardships of this truth, and you start seeing, and you start being young and hearing about some of the things to come within this truth, it's bitter too. It's, it's a it's a big pill to swallow, man. But it, it needs to be swallowed, you know. Go to seventeen. Ezekiel chapter three, verse seventeen. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. Right. You supposed to give them a warning, man. Give them warning. Give them prophecy, man, and tell them of the, tell them of the things to come. Tell them that the most high is gonna the most high is, is gonna destroy them, man. They're gonna kill them. If they don't get their stuff together and repent, man. Because the kingdom of the heaven is at hand, man. The kingdom of the, kingdom of the most high is at hand. Okay? When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou giveth him not warning, nor speak it to warn the wicked from his wicked way. Right. To save his life. Right. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Right. And then it goes on to talk about, you know, if you warn the wicked man and he and he don't give heed, then he gonna die. He gonna die, man. That blood is gonna be on him. And that's what our job. That's what our job is for, man. You can scratch that out. Wait. Revelation ten and ten. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand. That same, that same little book that was in Ezekiel, man. The same little book. We ain't talking about two different books here. We're talking the same little book, which is the scriptures, man. The Bible, what? And ate it up. And it was in the mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Right. We explain that. Go ahead. 11. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Right. That's what we're doing now. And that's what uh, John the Revelator, he's out here somewhere, man, preaching again to many country, many uh, nations. Read it again, uh, that last part. And again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Right, so we are here to tell you nations the prophecies to come, man. That your harvest shot is coming. That your harvest shot is coming, man. He's coming back to destroy you, man. And to set up the nation of Israel back into power, man. And to set up his own throne, you know. And that's what it's all about, man. Prophesying, man. That's one of the greatest things you can do. And it's true, man. It's to prophesy, man. And, and, and love thy brother, man. So with that... All praise to Yahweh, Double on to the other GMS, peace and blessings to the Akim, but the teaching truth and sincerity, man, shall the war, man, keep pushing.